I'm Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how to make a watery sound in GarageBand. Now, a watery sound could mean a lot of different things to different people. So today, I'm going to show you a couple presets that may fit that profile, and then I'm going to show you how to make your own and tweak it. Once you've got GarageBand to open up, you can find a couple of presets easily enough. The first we have is called Orion Vocals. You can find Orion Vocals by clicking on the info pane, and under the browse setting, then under effects, and then you'll find Orion Vocals. It sounds something like this. This is an example track to illustrate whether you can change something in GarageBand to a watery sound or not. This can also be used on instruments and just about any other Another setting you can try, once again, just leave your info pane open and click down onto the second track here. Believe it or not, a decent watery effect can be found under guitars and then 80s pop. Here's what it sounds like. This is an example track to illustrate whether you can change something in GarageBand to a watery sound or not. This can also be used on instruments and... Now, if none of those are satisfactory for you, you can make your own. Just go ahead and make sure you've got some vocals or something already recorded. Have a new fresh track here, and once again, click on the info pane. Go under vocals, and make sure you have no effects turned on. Now, go over to the edit page. For this one, I've turned on Track Echo under the preset Trails. Here's kind of what it sounds like. This, this is an, is an example, example track, track to, to illustrate, illustrate whether, whether you can, you can change, change something in the GarageBand to a watery sound. Now, if you want to change that, you can go ahead and add other effects by clicking on any of these blank boxes here where it says, click here to add an effect. Once you've clicked it, you'll see a long list of different GarageBand effects. You want to use something like Vocal Transformer. Go ahead and put your mouse over the icon and you'll notice it changes to these different sliders. Once you click it, you get a new panel. Under Vocal Transformer, you can feel free to play with the pitch and sound for high and low volume. This can drastically change it to make it sound something like this. This is an example to illustrate whether you can change something in the garage band. If that doesn't suit you, you can go ahead and turn that effect off by clicking this blue button here. Go ahead and click on Vocal Transformer here. Scroll up to something like Chorus. Once again, go ahead and click this icon here. You can change to default and preset settings here. We're going to try Glimmer here and see what that sounds like. This, this is, is an, an example, example track, track to illustrate, illustrate whether, whether you can, can change, change something in the garage band to a watery, watery sound, sound or not. Okay. Those are just some of the things that you can do to make a watery effect in GarageBand. With the different effects panels, you can create your own and find what works best for you. Thanks for watching.